seen an amazing fish online and you want to purchase it, I don't blame you. I am such a sucker for seeing fish online and just having to have it. That's pretty much how I started in this hobby. Years ago, we had fish tanks. We didn't ship fish or certainly not, not that I remember, but I mean, I'm going back probably from, I don't know, 25 years or so. But uh, anyway, I'm Shishi. This is Shishi's Aquatics. And today I wanted to talk to you about placing an order online and the shipping process. So first of all, obviously you've seen the fish that you want. One of my first, one of my first pieces of advice for this would be to really do your research into the seller. Make sure that there's someone who has really good reviews. If they've got multiple reviews of sick fish or fish not turning up or just anything that's really negative towards that seller, I would probably stay clear if there's like three to five really negative comments, I would probably stay clear of them. I would most likely, if I was starting up again and, and purchasing fish offline, I would probably stick to like Facebook groups, um, communities where I could ask for recommendations on where I could buy my fish online so that I know that I'm purchasing with a little bit more security and a little bit more safety for, for the fish because you want to make sure that your fish are coming from someone who knows what they're doing, knows how to ship fish and has the fish's care as their number one priority. So once you've chosen your fish, you found your seller, you've chosen your fish and you pay for your fish typically through eBay or PayPal or whatever your the other process is. I know a lot of fish keepers have websites of which I'm getting soon. I'm so excited. Anyway, um, once you've made that purchase, the seller will usually have specific days that they, that they do shipping on. So let's just say for argument's sake, you bought something from me on a Wednesday, I would not ship that fish out until the following Monday. Mondays and Tuesdays are my shipping days. No ifs, ands, or buts, I will not. I will not ship any other day unless the, uh, the sorry, the buyer has bought like the overnight shipping, for instance, which can be a little bit pricey. It usually ranges between say 35, right up to about $90, depending on the shipping services. And honestly, from experience, I would definitely, I would definitely go for the faster shipping just to alleviate the amount of stress on your fish. If you can afford it, if you cannot, and you're willing to take the rest of the, you know, the two to three or two to five day shipping, that's completely, completely up to you. Always, always check your DOA policy. Every single online seller should have a DOA policy somewhere available for you to read so that you know what to do should your fish unfortunately be received dead. Um, the next thing that you'll get is you'll see the tracking information and pay attention to your tracking information to know when to expect your fish. Um, I watch tracking information I'm like a kid at Christmas. I'm like, one more day, one more day. So that's definitely the best thing to do. And then when you receive your package, open up the package, make sure that everyone's okay. And I have another video that will tell you what to do if the fish is deceased. If the fish is not deceased, do your acclimation process. And should your fish be deceased, definitely contact your seller within one hour with clear pictures. I cannot stress that enough. I think I've said that on just about every single video recently that I've done, that DOA is a massive, massive miscommunication for so many people. So many people just don't read it and they just don't understand. And from a seller's standpoint, it's highly frustrating when things go wrong that are out of our control. And unfortunately, a lot of, a lot of purchasers just don't understand. And 
I get it. I understand that too. So that's the typical process. And like I said, you will always receive tracking. Um, make sure you are home to receive your package. And if you are not home to receive the package, make sure that there is someone there that can take care of the fish and acc the acclimation process and be able to bring the fish in from the elements, especially now with it being really hot out, those boxes can get hot. And obviously during the extreme weather during the winter, you definitely wanna make sure that someone is available more so in the winter than the summer. Um, fish can tolerate the, the fluctuations to a degree. Beta fish, for instance, just using them as an example, uh, tropical fish tolerate heat differences really, really well. However, make sure that your acclimation is on point and you should have no issues. And if you have questions, always reach out to your seller or your community and someone will be able to answer you and point you in the right direction in order to get the correct information that you need for a happy, healthy little fishy. And in the meantime, happy shopping because I've got new fish coming too and I'm super excited about it. And I'll show you those um, when I get them. For now, as always, have fun, happy fish keeping, stay safe, be well, and I'll see you on the next one.